one of the things we were fighting for is to stop extrajudicial killings, killing people outside the law. And the NRM is very strict on that. Even when mistakes occur, we follow them up. Like, for instance, during these elections which Bishop Simogere was talking about, there were mistakes. The opposition made mistakes by being violent, by intimidation, attacks, attacking people, attacking people because they are putting you on yellow, you had uh, Kavandwa, Kavandwa, the, the secretary of uh, Haisedunga was reading there, that people were being attacked. And even Hagisedunga said that some people didn't even vote because of the intimidation. It was in his speech there. And that's the truth. Now, this, this of course was a miscalculation. Because I can tell you, if you have got ears to hear, that nobody can defeat the NRM by force. If you bring force, then you are, you are on the you are in the wrong on the wrong arena because we have a lot of capacity to deal with with force. So this is a miscalculation and those who, who, who encourage the opposition to take that line are misleaders. Of course, they are, they are acting unconstitutionally because there is no need to use force in Uganda now. Because you can vote. Why do you use force? Vote! In some areas, NRM did not win. Opposition won in some areas. So why did we not stop those opposition from winning. We had candidates, but some other groups won. So there's no need to use force. But some people think they can use force and uproot the NRM. It will not happen. That's a wrong line. And also to think that you can use insecurity, like recently when they killed a, a girl of, of Katumba, a daughter, and um, a driver. That will not bring down the NRM. You can be sure about that. What will happen? is that we shall mobilize and react and we shall defeat you like we did in the past. So it's just a waste of time. But the mistakes on the NRM side is sometimes to overreact. Partly because of poor leadership in some of these groups, you find the soldiers are not well briefed. They just go into a situation with, without proper briefing. But the law is very clear. We have put it in the law. The procedures are very clear. The standing orders are very clear. 
how to handle the different types of troublemakers. If they are peaceful but lawbreakers in an illegal demonstration, there is how to handle it. There you use non-lethal non methods, which are there. Tear gas, water cannon, those are there. They don't kill, they, they discourage and somebody goes away. If somebody becomes violent and goes threaten the lives of the, the security people, there is also a procedure. In some cases, mistakes happen, some of them don't follow that procedure and make mistakes. Fire when they should not fire. But what I want to everybody who is honest, because I, I don't know about the dishonest people, anybody who is honest knows that we, the government I lead, cannot condone that action. When such some, something like that happens, we follow up case by case. And I have the files of all the 54 people who died in, in that problem of 18th of, of, of November, I think it was, 18th, 19th. And where the security forces made mistakes, we discovered it. The first thing I did was to hold seminars of those people. You must have seen on the, on the, on the media how I met the all the commanders of the special forces. I met all the police uh, commanders in the country to review the actions and the mistakes. But also follow up the families of the affected people. Like, for instance, many of the people who were arrested were released and even, even supported. So, therefore, I want to assure Ugandans that there is no way we can tolerate and condone impunity of wrong. Anybody who says uh, to the contrary, uh, uh, say what they want. Now on security, as I said, nobody can destroy the enemy by 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 because they try and fail. In fact, I've warned some of the 